Yeah, yeah, you are my African queen. Just like the sun, light up the earth, you light up my life. The only one I ever see with a smile. Hello and welcome to Africa in Demand, your gateway to everything Africa. I'm your host, BC. Joining me today is the managing director of Help African Libraries, Halibs, a nonprofit organization set up to improve the educational system in Africa by providing resources in public sectors and in libraries across different countries in Africa. Please help me welcome Rochelda Kamara. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me, BC. Now, you have this nonprofit organization that's doing such wonderful things. Um, it was originally started by your father and a friend of his, Mr. Idris, who is also a Mr. Kamara, correct? That's now, correct. When and where did the organization first get started? Um, I, actually, uh, um, Halibs was established in the Gambia. Okay. Um, September of 2005. Okay. And what was the cause, what was the reason that they decided to start the organization? Um, my father, which is Mr. Molai Kamara, is um, he actually an engineer. Okay. And also, he's been teaching since he um, finished college back in Sierra Leone. He's a born Sierra Leonean. And he know, uh, when he moved to the Gambia um, during the war in Sierra Leone, he noticed that children that was transmitting from you know different grade level, they they lack the educational background that they needed. Um, so when he became a principal and the students that was trying to take the national examination, they were not doing up to part they were supposed to. Mm. He decided to start this organization okay. with his um, with his friend, Mr. Idris Kamar. Okay, now I know your organization has done a lot of really great things to the point that you've actually been granted a memorandum of understanding by the Department of State in the Gambia for and education. That is correct. And you're also working on the same thing for your your country in Sierra Leone. Yes, I now, am. Now, what, what um, are the steps that you're taking to develop the same projects that you have going on in Gambia in uh, Sierra Leone? Well, um, as far as Sierra Leone, in order for us to be able to get the memorandum of understanding that my father was fortunate to get in the Gambia, we have to work with the governments and also have the organization registered in Sierra Leone. Okay. Um, we are in the process of having that done, um, but in order for us to do it, uh, we wanted to actually have projects in place that we could show the government, so this is what we have done so far, in order for us to go ahead and say we could have the memorandum of understanding. Um, I just want to go ahead and just say a little bit about, because the memorandum of understanding that we have with the Gambia, the governments provide, you know, if we needed a land, to build, you know, to build for a study center, the government will be able to provide one for us, you know, even if free or at a discount rate. Yeah. So we would love to have that same opportunity that we have in the Gambia with Sierra Leone. Well, that's a really, I mean, that's a really um, a big deal because those are the type of things you need when you're trying to do such projects. Now, to talk about projects on your website, you guys are currently working on four different projects, and one of them that caught my attention is a um, uh, a, a fundraiser or, or drive that you're doing, a book bag drive, where you're raising money to purchase these book bags to ultimately put school supplies in so that kids going to school next year have supplies in a bag. Tell us a little bit more about that as well as the other three, um, um, I guess, projects that you're working on. Oh, yes. Um the school supply, pro, um, supply project was actually created by um, a member. Uh, her name is um, Yugana Ibubushi, the events coordinator. Um, the idea is we want to be able to provide students in Sierra Leone, the Gambia, and also Nigeria through another organization. Um, so, so it's a partnership. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a partnership in a way because what we're going to do is we're going to donate. As far as the, 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 the organization that's in Nigeria, we're just going to donate the school supplies to them and they would use it towards a project that they already have established to help students. As far as Sierra Leone and the Gambia, we already have schools aligned and also that we would like to um, donate these school supplies too. Um, so normally what you would do is you can go to the website, um, you can make a donation um, as far as towards um, the school supply link 
and the funds, all the funds that's collected through that would be used to buy those book bags. And also you have an option to actually, um, you know, donate school supplies so that we could be able to use that and put it into the bags. Now, does your organization plan to, I mean, because you guys are doing some wonderful things, and I know Thank you're going to you. tell us about the other three as well. Do you ultimately plan to um, spread out to other dif different African countries? I know you're working very closely with the two, and, you know, you're partnering with some things in Nigeria, but do you plan to do extensive work in other countries? Absolutely. Um, since this organization, technically we all we started here in the United States in 2006, we want to be able to have what we call a concrete. So we want to work with these countries and see what we did right and what we did wrong mm -hmm. and have that established and then move. But absolutely, we want to move to different African countries. And even though we're not working with other, organized, um, other countries, if we see a project that's going on with another country, and we see how we could help, we want to be involved in it. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, what is the project that you have going on for Sierra Leone and Gambia? Um, as far as um, Sierra Leone, we, um, I've created um, this project. It's a school, so, um, it's a study center. Um, the study center is basically to create a, a place where students could come to after school. They would have access to tutors, internet access, and also books that we, you know, textbooks, reading materials. We're also going to furnish it with textbooks that they use there because the books that we use here and the ones in Sierra Leone is different. That they could come to, we, they will give them free access to school supplies and, and help them with tutoring for their classes. That's the Study Center project. We plan to have that in Calabar Town and Freetown. In the Gambia, we already have a small study center that you know do the tutoring for the national examination also have a, um, a, a small library but we're currently looking for a different location that we could have a bigger look a bigger library a bigger study center that we could be able to assist more students so that's the um the two projects that we have as far as major projects for those countries yeah that's awesome now Thank i know you. that you guys have done some projects in the past that yes. you know just so that people know a little bit more about where you guys have come from you uh did an event last year well actually early part of this year yes. uh, black history month presentation yes. and it was called preparing today's youth for tomorrow i have a dream i love that tell us a little bit more about what that entailed and what was it as was it a success as far as what you wanted it to do oh absolutely um, it was a success um, we were fortunate in, enough um, a dean at my university when I was actually an undergrad sent out an email to the black you know the black Liberian Association in reference to you know anyone is interested in making a donation so that we were very lucky that a library in New York called Windeck Public Library they donated roughly over almost 5,000 bucks. Wow. Yes, yeah, so we went down there, we met with the board of trustees, you know, we explained with what we we're gonna do with the books and everything. While we were there, one of the board members, you know, she mentioned that, um, well, it'd be great if the children in this community that normally come to this library to see, you know, what it is about education and everything that's going on. So we were told that we'd be happy to come back down there and do a presentation for them. So they invited us, um, it was actually February 8th of this year, we went down there, and luckily I just came back from um, Gambia, so I was able to have more, you know, information. We ca we went down there. We did a um, we did a presentation for them. Um, during the presentation, we were able to introduce a supporter. Um, he's is an African American gentleman by the name of um, Benjamin. African name, he was given an African name, Kwesi. He did a presentation because he, vid he visited um, Ghana and um, Egypt. Mm -hmm. So he was able to explain his experience. And also a child soldier, his name is Salifu. That went through the Civil yes, War. Yes, he went okay. through the Civil War. He was actually captured when he was eight years old. Mm. So he was there, he discussed you know, to the, to the children you know, the importance of education yes. and everything that he lost. Mm. He was supposed to start um, a um, undergrad NYU, at NYC. Right? Okay. Yes. NYC, okay. Yes. So okay. it was it was very successful. That's yes. good. Yeah. So um, you guys are looking for other libraries that might be interested in doing this, and you would go and do the same. We'll thing be happy that. to do it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now you also have um, a lot of stuff coming up now in the future, and <laughs> uh, we're going to get to discussing the gala, which is coming up uh, December thirteenth. Yes. You also did a car wash yes. and a spirit night at. Um, Chick-fil-A in Baltimore. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, um, we had a, um, 
some kind of a partnership with Chick-fil-A where we were able to do, you know, a little promotion and invite people to come down to Chick-fil-A to, you know, just to get their dinner and Chick-fil-A was able to donate a percentage to Halips. Um, as far as the car wash, it was the same thing. They were very, um, we were very grateful that they actually allow us to do a car, car wash right there at Chick-fil-A. Um, this is the Chick-fil-A in Laurel. So uh, we were able to raise um, some funds for that, which, yeah. So how do you go about, um, you know, finding people to back you and all, because a lot of what you've said, they're all great things and they're so versatile in their nature, but they have all helped towards the common goal, which is ultimately to help, you know, the youth back home with support.